Tech TV, Experience Educational Television. NSBE, in collaboration with the Department of Petroleum Engineering, organized the 21st Century Engineer, the Science of Entrepreneurship, at the Engineering Auditorium in Kian UST. Mr. Abdo Kawuyu Zakariao gave a presentation on the overview of entrepreneurship and the difficulties faced by young entrepreneurs. I go, if you have the money to be an entrepreneur, you know the kind of people who are into entrepreneurship, you can be friends with them, and you want to learn general knowledge. Me, I want to learn general knowledge. Anyone I meet, I want to learn something from you. So, net, from your network, you can get something called information. You know a lot about what people are doing. That when you need something, you can say, hey, this person knows how to do this. You can come and do this for me. Or I can direct someone to this person, come and do this. Information is important sometimes. When you meet people, you just know randomly about what they are doing. There are some people who know more than you, they can teach you. Uh, some people just know something that you just don't know, which you can learn a lot from them. The founder of OGA Golden Solutions, Ms. Abigail Owusuwa Jemfi, gave a speech on achieving balance between academics and entrepreneurship. My final year, a lot of things had to cut down. I had to minimize a lot of things. I remember times that I had to be offline on WhatsApp for like two weeks. Not because I don't need to be on WhatsApp, but as I said in my presentation, there are a lot of distractions. If you are not making money online, if you are not getting important connection online, you have to minimize the time you spend online. You understand? So you need to know your priorities. What are your priorities? The quiz master for the National Math and Science Quiz and the HOD of Biological Engineering in the University of Ghana, Dr. Elsie Efa Kaufman, gave a presentation on the black engineer and practical innovation with entrepreneurship mindset. So we are actually at the beginning part, the first part of the 21st century. So if you are training to be an engineer today, if you are an engineer today, you are a 21st century engineer. Congratulations. First thing is to identify an opportunity. Then you make that conscious decision that you are going to assume the risk. You are going to put the fear my colleagues talked about, put the fear aside, and then take the risk of starting a business to take advantage of the opportunity. All right, so that's what it is. So if you want to be a successful entrepreneur, there are some you have to be comfortable with risk because they are risk takers generally they are also positive and confident you saw Abigail, my goodness what confidence eh? confident positive positive they are very well organized she told you about managing academics and entrepreneurship you have to be organized and you have to work hard. It is not for the lazy. A speech was given from the executive director of NSBE Ghana, Mr. Abdullahi Imoru. If you were a black student growing up in the U.S., you couldn't have had opportunity to study on the engineering program because they regarded that men for whites. That's a history. When you go and read it, you will really be amazed. We made a so many um, development in, in terms of that today. So these two guys were in Purdue University and they decided that they needed to form an association that would encourage their fellow blacks to pursue engineering program. Engineering programs were regarded as professional programs. They were best, they were things that would change, you know, our society, our economies and our lives. So it was not meant for blacks. Blacks were meant to do carpentry, and you know all those uh, on, I mean non-professional program. So these two people came together and they formed a Black Society of Engineers. They approached the only black faculty member in that university, Purdue University, spoke to him about the idea, and then the faculty member encouraged them, and then they formed the National Society of Black Engineers in 1975. So they needed to go around the whole of U.S which they did, and invited other small number of blacks who were in other universities to come together so that they form the national one in the U.S. And that's, that is what they, they did. And today, as I speak, NSBE can boast of about um, beyond 40,000 membership globally. And outside of the U.S., 
Ghana has the largest number. So you can give a big round of applause to yourself. Citations were presented to the speakers on behalf of NSBE. Tech TV News interviewed the President Emeritus and Advisor for NSBE KNUST, Mr. Frederick Kwajo Boache. Okay, we are all 21st century engineers. Students have problems of we are learning the theories in classroom. How are we going to apply this in the real world? Because out there, there are lots of problems that need solving. And we are engineers. As engineers, that is our job. That is our profession. So we came up with this team to be able to empower the students, to empower ourselves, to know that the theory that we learn in classroom, using our own creativity and innovative minds, we can go out there to solve a series of engineering problems which will help the society as a whole. Now we can see that there are a whole lot of issues going on in the country. People are complaining, there are energy crises, employment problems and all that. If you are engineers and we know that we are problem solvers, we wouldn't wait for the government to employ us before we start working. We can start up, pick up a problem in the society, try to solve it and we know that in the end we have earned an employment for ourselves. Some students spoke to Tech TV News. Having great speakers like Dr. Efa Kaufman coming here and, and so many great people, I was sure to meet um, very challenging people because seminars like this always try to challenge you to live up to your optimum best in life. And even as engineers to um, organized by the National Society of Black Engineers, I was actually coming to actually feel what it means to be a black engineer and what there is to me as an engineer. I've learned to think on paper. You wake up in the morning, you, write, you find some wild idea, like, yeah, it is there, but then you come back and you've forgotten. So now I learned that you have to put it down. And then I've also learned that you have to find a good group. So if you know something, you don't just tell anyone, but then people you know can help you achieve it. Yes, it was a great thing. You should organize some more. Yes. Tech TV. Experience Educational Television.